Hi family. Hello. Hi. Hey, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, hi. beautiful. Hey, how, how? Okay. How does how does everybody feel about mommy going natural? Uh, good. Good. You like mommy's hair? Uh, yes. You do? It's so pretty. Oh, Bryson, uh, do you like mommy's hair? Is it beautiful or is it ugly? Um, beautiful. This is Chappie 2468. I'm six months natural today. And um, I just wanted to bring my husband on. He's my biggest support. We've been married 11 years. And 11 of those years, he's been asking me to go natural. But um, I did it. I didn't want to. I wanted to keep my perm hair. And when I realized what it was for, when I thought about my fear, it stemmed from elementary school when I was called Jerry Carroll Girl. And um, when I was able to get my hair straightened, I said, I'm never doing that again. But uh, I had to just embrace me, embrace who I was, and um, turning 30 helped with that as well. So I'm going to bring him on, um, the love of my life. Hi, my name is Chappelle. I'd like to take a couple minutes to, you know, express to you viewers how I feel about my wife's um, recent transition into going all natural. She's bought lots of products and had, had a good time in doing so. She's met lots of friends on the YouTube channel and also gone to um, several Urban Bella seminars, which, you know, has made the adventure even more exciting because she's learned about new cuts, new hairstyles, how to grow her hair, different techniques and whatnot. And she's really happy and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her and proud for her and hope that she continues to, you know, embrace this new event this new venture okay baby first question um how do you feel let me get my paper okay what's the best and the worst thing about me going natural in your opinion okay the best thing i'll start off, i'll start off with, with the worst thing working to a positive the worst thing is honestly uh i really the worst thing is that You get frustrated, and I don't like when you get frustrated. When I say you get frustrated, you get frustrated because you, in the transition stage that you're in, your hair broke, it's kind of difficult. I'm seeing and learning it's difficult for you to find a fashionable or satisfactory hairstyle that, that makes you happy, makes you feel, you know, feel good about yourself. That, that would be the, um, one I thing feel good about myself. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So okay. Okay. But but makes you makes you feel you know satisfied with with, with your hairstyle. Okay. It's not like an in between thing. It's, you, you feel I just really would like for you to feel happy with your hairstyle. I know in this stage that you're in, you're working towards that and going to like I say the Urban Bella seminars. You're learning lots of different techniques, talking with lots of women that have been natural for a while and have already gone through the process that you're going through now. That would be one of the, you know, negative things I could say, the worst thing. Um, on the positive tip, um, I'm really excited to see your curls, you know. I'm into your hair texture. Um, you know, some people out there have different hair textures than you. And me personally, I think whatever a woman likes, you know, whether her hair texture is coarse or whether it's wavy or whatnot, I don't know all the different terminology that you would use to describe hair texture. But you know, I, I'm really into your hair texture and I'm, I'm excited about this new you that I'm going to, and, and that I am in Okay. And so if my hair wasn't curling, would you be into me? Do you want the truth? I want the truth. Okay, the truth is yes, because I picked you. Oh, okay. Okay. How do you feel about um, my bad hair days? Like when it's just all over my head and your bad hair days don't too much bother me. Um, I think you're cute when you walk around at home with your I don't know what you call them little balls where you <laughs> try to grow your hair out. Last week, you know that that's one thing that you you've been practicing and we've both seen. <clears throat> excuse me. Um how that, that technique really assists your hair and helps, you know, your hair really grows a lot. 
through that, uh, that process. You've been paying attention, ain't you? Yeah, I've been <laughs> You've been paying attention, been okay. Been this guy that is my opus. This is, this is, this is uh, therapeutic over here. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, okay. What's the deal? Like, I've been on YouTube a lot. You know, I've been on YouTube all the time. Yeah, you've been on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three o'clock in the morning. What's the deal with black men in particular and natural hair? What's the deal? Well, I can only speak for myself. I can also give. I can give you a you know an angle on how some of the guys that I know feel about it. I, basically, the more coarse textured hair is lots of guys that I know, and I guess stereotypically, you know, black males Your tend to kind of lean towards. The more smoother or I guess straightened hairs or wavier hairs instead of the coarse hairs. For what reason? I don't know if it's because they feel that, you know, straight is better than coarse or it's just more appealing to them or more so like, you know, the Caucasian textured hair. I, I, I really I really think that it depends on the on the man. My oh, sorry, okay, I was just gonna say my preference is, is your textured hair. That's, that's your preference. That's my preference. So again, if I had a, a kinkier texture hair, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not understanding, like, what's the, like, is it is it something to do with a man not being secure in him in one in himself? Because he has kinky hair. You know what I'm saying? So mm, I don't have any hair, so I really. Can't, you know, <laughs> no, truthfully, I feel that you know I don't think it has anything to do with the man or the man himself. I think it's just more appealing to him. Just like some some guys prefer you know darker skinned women. Some guys prefer lighter skinned women. Some guys prefer you know in between you know skinned women. You know it's it's just. Personal preference. I don't think there's anything. I don't think any women like out there. Like thicker, skinnier. skinnier, and you know, there's all kind of different categories you go into. But it's all it all comes down for me to per personal preference. And I don't think that there should be any women out there feeling bad or feeling that they need to not go natural because their hair is more coarse. You know. You know, you gotta, you gotta do what feels comfortable for you. Is it how you rock it, how you present your hair? It's your confidence within this, this shine. Oh, confidence. So, if a woman is confident, that's what's attractive, if, you know? Exactly, exactly. Okay. You attract what you present. Okay, okay. Um, I, I guess that's pretty much it. I, I wanted to ask, um... Oh, <laughs> thank you, babe. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, I guess, because it is a touchy situation. I know I did not want to go natural because I had some deep-rooted insecurities that I wasn't aware of. So, it, um, it is a touchy situation. And, um, you know, so I guess if you can expound on that a little bit more, you know, for... You know. Black have their own, own story to tell. They have different experiences. You know, we all have flaws, male and female. We all human. But those flaws are, again, are issues that we have with them. Oh, I forgot. Can I ask you this? But this is a question. Sure. Is it an insecurity we, in the time we got like a minute or two? Okay. So we got to hear it. Is the, this is, is it an insecurity within? I answered it, but I don't, I don't think you really touched on it. For males to be intimidated. You know. By women with, with wavier hair? What, with wavier, kinkier, any kind of hair to be intimidated or, or uh, run from, or, you know, whatever. You, you see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I do. Um, I Is it a south thing? Is it better up north or you don't know? Because I know it's south, the guy like the, the bigger, you know, thicker women and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that just goes, goes back to personal preference. Okay, you know, you so really I guess you didn't answer it. Pinpoint, you know, you can't give a, a yes or no answer to the, that kind of question that I feel. Because everybody has their own pre personal preference. Okay, baby. I want to thank you for um, celebrating this milestone with me and being such a support. And I love you. And I love you, YouTube too. audience. And peace out. Take care.